Also, Kevrock with the tuna cheer. Thanks, man. And nice. Nice. Oh, we do need to drink some beer today for sure. For sure. Boop. New game hype. Is it the same makers as Stardew Valley? No. No. No, this is from the makers of a game called Punch Club. If you remember that game, it went around Twitch for a little bit. A uh, year plus ago. Never played it myself, but... It is an ordinary day, and our hero is hurrying home where someone very important is waiting. Even in everyday routine, there's a place for loving and feeling loved, especially when you know that someone misses you. Ah. <laughs> what happened? Where is everything? Calm down, you've merely turned a page in your life. A whole new chapter awaits you ahead. Well, all right. But I need to go home. Can I go home? There's always a way to get home. Let me see. Your new home is a graveyard. Does that mean I'm dead? It means you're a graveyard keeper now. <laughs> okay. But I need to go home to my love. Then you need to be a good graveyard keeper. Okay. You should dig up Jerry. He'll help you sort everything out. Wasn't Jerry the name of the cashier? There's a name tag on the cashier. What a strange vision. What is this nightmare? Okay, let's find Jerry. Okay. We can cook. The hatch is closed for now. We can put stuff in the fire. And make a bunch of tasty stuff. Oh my lord, look at all this. <laughs> okay. We'll get that in a little bit. Place for wood logs. Place for stone. Oh! There's building. Oh, here's a farm. Nice. At least I think it's a farm. I hope it's a farm. Oh, that's my indicator. To go here. F. Holy sard! I'm a skull! Oh my god, we have our very own Mort. Are you Jerry? Why would you think I'm Jerry? A man with a red eye told me that I need to dig up Jerry. <laughs> a red eye. I remember. Oh, sard, that's right, I'm Jerry. How did you find me? A man with a red eye told me to... Wait, what? The man told me you'd answer all my questions. Okay. Good, good. But first, let me ask you. Who are you and where the Sard are we? <laughs> okay. I must be dreaming. None of this can be real. You're the new graveyard keeper. What else do I remember? Let me think. Nice, 14 Neo. Nice. I remember that sound. Let's go check it out. Okay. I definitely remember that bell and a donkey. <laughs> okay. 
You know, I think it'll be better if I wait for you here. I might scare the poor thing. Um. <laughs> got a fresh corpse from town. Wow, a speaking donkey. <laughs> You you can understand me. Let's talk. Who are you? I'm cheap labor. This cart isn't mine, so I have to work for a capitalist bastard who owns it. Okay. I only I only earn five carrots a day. The situation is deep. Uh, the situation deeply humiliating. You know where I'm coming from, right, comrade? <laughs> this bastard pretends that he doesn't understand anything I'm saying. Anyway, I need to get back to town. You get rid of this one, and I'll bring you a new one. What a strange land this is. Hey, what are you staring at? Grab that juicy corpse while it's still fresh. What for? I feel like we should take it to the morgue. I don't remember why exactly. But I'm pretty sure it'll be fun, and it might be profitable. Oh, I'm gonna puke. Let's do it. Oh, you can just kick it around. Nice. 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 Uh, E? There we go. Sard, I like this place. Feels like home. Put the body on the autopsy table. Slice some flesh from the corpse. That should be good for starters. What? No way! This isn't right! Sure, sure, it's not right. How can I forget? Maybe because I'm a talking skull with an amnesia. <laughs> Is it right you don't know where you are? Is it right that I'm a skull? Nothing is right here. So shut the sard up and do what I tell you. You promise you'll tell me how to get home? You just need to trade this meat in a village tavern for beer. Talking skulls never lie. And then bring the beer to me. Okay. Extract flesh. That's disgusting. You'll get used to it. So what should I do with the corpse? I don't know, let's bury it. Take this corpse, I'll wait for you in the graveyard. Okay. Shanghai Noodle, thank you, buddy. Michelina, good to see you. How are you? Hello, hello. Let's bury it. Use the blueprint desk at the graveyard. Make a site for the grave, then dig it with your shovel. Carefully put the body, or what remains of it, in the grave. Bury. Decorate. Warning, do not use gold skulls and upside-down stars for decoration. Okay. Great sight. There. Burial certificate. Huh, this burial certificate. I remember. Money. Alcohol. Alcohol. Hmm. I sure used to like it a lot. Oh, sorry. Here comes Bishop. He's your boss. Oh. Oh, I know. Ask him about this burial certificate. He should know something. I better leave now. I'll be in the morgue waiting for my beer. Oh, oh, I'm so tired. Why? Why do I have to come here every week? Ah, Keeper, there you are. 
<laughs> Why does he look so shifty? I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but your graveyard is a mess. There's no way I'm promoting you to cleric until you fix it. Repair graves to increase the graveyard's overall quantity. Quality. You'll probably need special resources to do that. As soon as your graveyard gets a quality, uh, quality is at least five, I'll be pleased to promote you. Okay. You look like a spiritual leader, and I'm a good judge of character. Ha ha. I'm good at everything, that's why I was chosen to represent his will. Ha ha. Your predecessor used to keep his stuff in a trunk somewhere here. You should check it. I'll come by again next week. In fact, I'll come here every... Is that a week? Maybe I'm not dreaming. Did I eat something? Oh, he's waiting. What should I say? Why is it you come here? It's part of my duty, the unpleasant part. It's kind of an old tradition. I don't know much about all the traditions and rituals. I'm just here to represent his might and glory. I have one tiny, tiny question. What is this burial certificate? As soon as a body has been laid to rest, you can trade its burial certificate for money at the village tavern. Hmm. Oh. Okay. I'm not the keeper. I was going home from work. I need to go home. There's a talking skull. He forced me to butcher a corpse. Aha, fine joke. I'm a humorist myself. Here's one. Who is BB? Who? I am. Ha ha. How can I fix the graveyard? Just repair all the graves. It wouldn't take me even an hour, but it's your job. Okay, we know about that. Okay. If you run out of repair kits while fixing the graveyard, you can always craft new. To craft new items, you need to unlock the relevant tech. This costs tech points. Red points represent handcrafting. Green points represent your knowledge about the nature and things of nature itself. Blue points represent your spiritual knowledge of the immaterial world. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Cool. Okay. So, do I dig this stuff up? Ah. Cool. Oh, that's my energy up there. Oh, damn, dude. Um, wait, when I run out of that, then I have to go, like, I'm done for the day? That does not seem like a lot. Uh, how do I repair it? Oh, maybe it's already repaired? Exhume, no. Huh. Okay. Oh, fix gravestone? Ah! Okay. I need to go to the tavern and stuff. Uh, we can do that now, I guess. Try to. Hopefully we'll have enough energy to, you know, get home. Looks like a cave. Whoa. 
What is this? Witch Hill? Hmm. Oh. Need technology. Okay. I like that there's no loading screens. It's pretty cool. Hmm. Thanks, Pala. Appreciate that, bud. Oh. Hi. What's up, girl? Oh. Hi. Oh. The Dead Horse. What a great name. Hi. Welcome to the Dead Horse Tavern. I'm Horodric. Uh, how, oh, Horodric Cube. Uh, how can I help you? I came from the graveyard. I woke up here today, and things have been crazy since then. Oh, sorry. How can I not have recognized you? Good. This is good. Things are looking bright for our small village. When are you planning on opening the church? I need to fix a graveyard first. Sure, sure. It's been a while since anyone took care of it. So let's get down to business, shall we? How can I help you? Ask about burial certificate. As the as a head of the village, according to the ancient contract, I have money. Of course, only if I have any money. What do you mean? The village is going through hard times. We're short on money. But as soon as you open the church, pilgrims will bring lots of shiny coins to the village. I want to trade you some meat. Oh, meat is a delicacy in our village. I'll be glad to buy it. I just need to see the royal meat stamp on it. Many years ago, there was an accident with an inappropriate meat. Ever since, all meat must be approved by his royal... Wait a second. I harvest meat from corpses and sell it to the town to eat? Oh, Lord. Um, <laughs> That's kind of messed up. I like it. Does my meat have a stamp? Uh, I uh, actually know. I don't know what... I don't even want to know where you can get unauthorized meat, but wow, it looks really good. But without a stamp, my hands are tied. Where can I get this stamp? Oh, you can send a form to the royal court to the mailbox near your church, but it'll cost you a bundle. There's another way I'll tell you because our neighbors come closer. There's this guy called Snake. I think he has a fake royal stamp. But to be honest, I haven't seen him for a while. You can ask Miss Charm. She comes here every... Female? I bet she can help you find Snake. Wait, what? Is that a day? Thanks. Uh, oh, Keeper, could you tell me to take this letter? Sure, where can I find him? The southeastern corner of the village. Oh, yeah, look at that. There's like a there's like a male symbol and a few. So, wait, she comes by today? I guess? Is that her? Oh. Okay, then. Let's actually go do this thing before it gets too dark here. Because it looks like I should be sleeping, maybe. Where's my task? Letter to the blacks. Uh, is that you? Do I have a map? I do not seem to have a map. Here we go. Hey, what are you staring at? <laughs> Nothing, just looking around. I think I'm the keeper of the local graveyard. Ask who you are? Unfortunately, I'm the local blacksmith. My name's Kresvold. Give him the letter. I have a letter to, for, uh, for you from Herodric. A letter, of course. One minute away, and he can't be bothered to come himself. I guess old habits never die. Thank you. Sorry for my nagging. It seems it's my new habit. Slimes again. Herodicus asked me to get rid of them. I don't have the time for those pesky little green bastards, but maybe you can help. Take this rusty sword and energy pot. The sword is broken, but you can repair it with a whetstone on the grinder right behind me. You can keep the whetstone. Maybe I'll need it to repair your shovels sometime. If you manage to kill them, bring me the remains and I'll spare you some materials. They should be right up on the other side of my house near the, near the puddles. Oh, cool. Okay. Awesome. Oh... 
Oh, okay. Uh, let's let's take an energy pot. There we go. Uh, sword. There we go. Oh, don't do that, jerk. Oh, dude, whoa. Good job, take this whetstone to sharpen your broken tools and they'll be as good as new. Ask him where to find metal ore. You know what, I like to work with metal myself. Where can I find some ore? You can find metal ore in swamp soil. There's a huge swamp to the west across the river. I used to collect ore there before the bridge collapsed. Okay, we're good there. Um, I wonder if we should go home and sleep. What are we supposed to do next? Get a beer from the tavern. Find a stamp and sell meat to hold Roderick. So I, f let's see, we still gotta find this, uh, what the hell is that thing? Okay, whatever that is, that's weird. Still gotta find snake. Is that him right outside? No. I don't think so. Let's talk to the people in the tavern. Shrek says, play some Detroit. Finish it this morning, bud. Are you Snake? You look like Snake. Oh. Who are you? Okay, good talk. Hi. What do you want? I'm a graveyard keeper and I want to ask you some questions. I see. Do you know how many times a day I hear that same mumbling? I have no time for you, little man. Come back when you have more faith in yourself. Uh, but... Ciao! Hey, friend, can I have a moment? What did Miss Charm tell you? Literally to go away. Ah, always so classy. She would never talk to just anyone. I'm not the same one. I'm the local graveyard keeper. Soon to be prior of the local church. How primitive. I'm a well-known poet in certain small circles. My name is Wagner. Nice. One day I'll read my poem to her and then, well... But first I need to write it and I'm catastrophically out of paper and ink. Okay, so we gotta get him paper and ink. Where'd I find it? You may have some of it in your church or you can make it. Hmm. Also get some from the old astrologer. Used to go to the lighthouse every moon day. It's on a cliff to the east of the village. Hmm. Okay. Now, was I able to actually give him the burial certificate? Have a beer on the house. Oh, great! Okay, good. Perfect. Oh, there we go. Boop. Perfect. Where's this snake guy again? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Let's go have this beer to our buddy and see what he wants to do. We're, we're out of energy, so we can't really do too much right now. What is this game about? It's like Stardew Valley, but with corpses. Yeah. Mm -mm. 
The sponsor logo is covering a bunch of info. Uh, let me see. Cool. We'll get that looked at. Thanks. Mm, mm, mm. Do, 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 do. Whoops. There we go. Great. Come here. Where you been? Uh, you sent me to town. I was at the village. This place is so weird, but it feels so real. And everybody is okay with me just appearing out of nowhere. Sorry, you're stealing my thoughts. Stealing. I remember there's a cellar in your cottage. Some provisions must be stored in there. Oh, cool. Okay. Wheat. Exactly. I remember baking bread out of it. And pies. Sweet berry pies. Toast. Onion toast. Oh... That's good with beer. Sard, you know what? I need a beer. This is beginning to feel like a one-sided relationship. Bring me beer and I'll tell you a lot of important stuff, like how I can get home. Questions? Ask about this small road. It was rhetorical! Do I look like a magic head with answers? Well, technically, that yes. That's, yes. Um, Sard, you smartass! I'll be waiting for you for that beer at my place. No beer, no answers. And he poofs. Nice. Okay. that sound? Damn gate. I'll come here every night if I have to, but I'll get through eventually. What the hell? <laughs> Looks like I can remove this blockage and fortify the arch. enough. Okay. Let's go rest a little bit. See how sleeping works. Oh, cool. Okay. Easy enough. Or not. Uh-oh. Uh Ooh. Maybe it'll work. Uh oh. What a buzzkill, I know, right? It is alpha. So you know. Let's if it's saved at a good place, that'll be fine. We didn't really do much yet. I slept too much, I know, right? Don't click when that loading icon comes up. Oh, is that what did it? Is that what did it? Wait, so it didn't do anything. Alright, hold on. So how do I save my game? I can't save my game? Wait. Uh... You only save when you sleep, so take quick naps? Oh, so sleeping saves and I crashed while I was sleeping. Good. Good. Okay. 
Um. Huh. That is really unfortunate. <laughs> uh, so I'm. We're gonna try this one more time here, and uh, let's see. Let me see if I can get to a point where we can sleep here. This will go a lot quicker when I don't need to read, read everything out. Yeah, I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, do this intro part, and then I'm just gonna go like jump in the bed and jump out and see if it saves. If it crashes again, I think we'll have to let this game cook a little bit more. But we will see. We will see. It seems really interesting so far, so I'd like to keep playing it. Okay. There's our corpse. Did I finish Detroit? I did. Tangent hasn't had any problems with it? Okay. So maybe, maybe we just got really unlucky. Let's find out. Go. All right, let's take the corpse to the graveyard. As soon as we are done talking to the bishop is when we'll go and uh, try to sleep. Am I doing a second playthrough of Detroit? Um, I, I might. I'm th I don't know when, but I might, yeah. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Let's bury it. That's how. Go over here. Pop it right there again. Oh, we don't have a shovel. Let's do that. There we go. Much better. Great. There's a burial certificate. Uh, neutral guy, Pillars of Eternity 1 is a very tough game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so don't don't feel bad if you're having trouble with it at the beginning. Just take it slow, pause a lot, and yeah, just kind of go from there. Make sure you read all the abilities. Learning all the classes really helps because then you know you're fighting against two. Okay. Now we're last time we repaired a bunch of stuff here, but we're not going to do that right now. We're going to save our energy. Okay, let's go ahead and do these options. Blessed and beautiful. Okay. There's that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Go talk to you. Oh, get this first. work on that soon. Let's go see if we can save. We're in business, boys. Let's keep going. I don't know what messed up the first time, but seems like it worked a lot better. Will I be playing Raft again? Um, I will definitely play Raft again, but probably weeks to months from now whenever there's new content. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, Karazzi, I've gotten random ass bugs that caused me to have to restart the game. Okay, that's good to know. Yo, look at those persistent footprints, y'all. Oh my god, them footprints. Mm-mm-mm. I like it. Yep, we did it. We did it. Have you ever played Gothic 1 and 2? I have. Yep. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Not in a good mood. Go away. We we talked to this guy a bunch of stuff a bunch of times already. Mm hmm. Okay. Let's see exactly what he says about the stamp. Ask about the burial certificate. We can sell to him. Tells us about the money situation. Can you timely take this letter to the blacksmith? Okay, here's that sold. Uh, okay. These items are locked until the vendor gets to tier two. Uh, let's trade you some fresh meat. Actually, I do not have a stamp. Where can I get the stamp? You can send a form to the royal court, or... There's a guy called Snake. I think he has a fake royal stamp, but to be honest, I haven't seen him for a while. You can ask Miss Charm. She comes here every night, or whatever. I bet she can help you find Snake. So, the, the person up here that wasn't giving us the time of day... Hmm... What year is it now? Year? What do you mean? The time it takes for the Earth to make one revolution around the sun. Oh, you've been listening to the astrologer's nonsense. <laughs> so, okay. Everyone knows that the Earth is flat. Well, yeah. But I get you. It's 1204 after the ancient contract? And what is the name of our beloved kingdom? The kingdom! And it is definitely not be beloved here in the village. Do you have any other questions? So we are in the kingdom in the village. Um, all right, let's go do this stuff for uh, blacksmith. Uh, single digit, we beat it this morning. Yeah, we, we beat Detroit. It's all gonna be on my YouTube later tonight. Mm-hmm. Give him the letter. Now we're gonna sharpen the sword. Mm-hmm. Boop. Do the same with the shovel. Boop. Beautiful. Man, we almost got like a combo with this thing. Almost. Man, we use so much energy though. Oh my god. Dude, I don't know. Like, one thing that I liked about Stardew Valley is going to the mines for a day. But dude, we just spent like half our energy on two enemies. There's no way we... Th yeah. There must not be like a mine or dungeon in this game. That's really expensive. Hmm. He did give us energy pots, that's true. Maybe maybe we're just expected to take like a ton of energy regen with us. Okay, let's go back into the tavern and see if Miss What's Her Name's there. Maybe we can help that poem guy and then steal his poem, because I'm kind of a dick. Yeah. All right, there she is. Now we go up and talk to her and she doesn't give us the time of day. 
Piranha. Poisson. Tom. Come back when you have more faith in yourself. Demonstrate that you are worth talking to. Hmm. Oh, you need to consume food for energy. Okay. How do you figure out what day it is? Uh, in the very top left, there's one of the six sides is lit up. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Like right here? Where do I find it? Uh, can we do this stuff? Actually, it's round. Oh god, you should definitely meet him. The mad astrologer and the graveyard keeper, two wise men. I can make for a pretty funny poem. Hmm. The astrologer must be the smartest man. Yeah, see how right here we're on this day and it's glowing? I'm guessing it just goes like around. Uh, let's get the beer. Perfect. Thank you for that. All right, we're gonna give, the, give this to the skull guy and then, oh, and then he should tell us about the, uh, the place under the house, the cellar. Excuse me. I don't think there's a time limit when you need to go to bed. Rather, you just go to bed when you're out of energy. Yeah, yeah, I'm noticing that too. Seems really nice. We can just stay up all night if we want to. Pretty awesome. I am all for it. Dude, our footprints are still there from when we walked out earlier. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Stopped right there. What's the small road? Oh, yeah. They disappears. Cool. Edible mushroom. Oh, minus health but plus energy. Weird. Property in forfeiture. For commercial use, contact the tavern owner, Herodric. Hmm. This isn't the swamp with the iron in it, is it? I don't think so. Hmm. Adam! Best part about post-surgery is this channel. You guys are the best. Thanks for all you do, Co. Dude, it is my pleasure. Thank you for your cheer. Hope you have a speedy recovery, my friend. Thank you very much for that, dude. Thank you very much for that. Looks like an elf, doesn't it? Those ears. Hmm. So the stuff we need is wood wedges and wooden planks. Hmm. Oh, there's nails. Hmm. Man, I hope there's a way to upgrade our energy pool because yeah, we do not get to do a lot per day. Hmm. Let's get some more sleep. <laughs> I think we get more energy back at night. Maybe. <sighs> Welp! I think we're gonna have to call it here, guys. I think we're gonna have to call it here. Um, oh, this is not only early beta, this is alpha. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on, dudes, but... Damn. I, I really wanted to play this, but it looks like, uh... Looks like this isn't gonna be an issue right now. Um, damn. I was really looking forward to this, too.